In this tutorial, we will learn about introduction to pandas. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn what is pandas and why we use pandas, what pandas can do and its capabilities. We will also briefly cover the data structures in pandas like pandas series, pandas data frame and about pandas panel data. Then take a quick look at pandas history. And finally, summarize the key points of this complete tutorial. Namaste, welcome to YBI Foundation. Let's learn, practice and upskill. Now, start and let's learn. What is Pandas Library? Pandas is an open source Python library built for data manipulation, analysis, and handling structured data. Pandas library provides fast and flexible data structures, making it easy to work with relational or labeled data. You can think of Pandas as a tool similar to Excel or SQL, but far more powerful and flexible, all within the Python environment. Time to check your understanding. Did you know? What is a key advantage of using Pandas over tools like Excel or SQL? Option A. Pandas is faster than Excel and SQL, but harder to use. Option B. Pandas is open source, but it cannot handle structured data. Option C. Pandas provides more powerful and flexible data manipulation within the Python environment. Option D. Pandas can only handle unstructured data. What is your answer? Correct answer is, option C, Pandas provides more powerful and flexible data manipulation within the Python environment. It is used when we need to efficiently manage data or perform operations like filtering, grouping, reshaping or handling missing values. Now understand why use Pandas library. Pandas makes it easy to load and manipulate data. Pandas efficiently handles large datasets. Pandas library is compatible with formats like CSV, Excel, SQL, and more. Pandas supports a wide range of operations, including filtering, grouping, and merging data. Additionally, it allows you to easily create data visualizations. Now we'll cover why Pandas is a go-to library for data analysis. First point. Data structures. Pandas has two main data structures, series, which is like a single column of data, and data frame, which is like a whole table or spreadsheet. These structures make it easy to organize and work with all sorts of information. Next, file input and output. This is about getting data in and out of pandas. It can read and write files in many common formats like CSV, Excel, JSON, even directly from SQL databases. Pandas library is super convenient for read and write external data formats as data frame. Data cleaning is another big advantage of Pandas library. Real-world data is often messy with missing values, duplicate values, and all sorts of inconsistencies. Pandas library provides tools to clean your data for analysis. Once your data is clean, the next step is data manipulation. You can filter rows, sort columns, group data together, and transform to find meaningful insights from your Pandas data frame. 
and finally pandas provide basic data visualization capabilities so you can create charts and graphs to see your data in action time to check your understanding did you know which of the following operations can be performed using pandas library option a filtering and sorting data option b grouping and transforming data option c handling missing values and duplicates option d reading and writing data from image files what is your answer for this question Pandas library can be used for completing all the tasks mentioned in option A to option D. All right, let's get some more understanding about the data structures in Pandas. First, we have the Pandas series, which is one-dimensional. Think of it as single column of data, like a list or a 1D array. Pandas series is heterogeneous means it can hold any type of data like numbers text dates and so on Next is the data frame this is the workhorse of pandas it's a two dimension data structure organized into rows and columns just like a table or spreadsheet pandas data frame is used to do most of your data analysis And finally, there's three-dimension panel data. Think of it like stack of data frames, each one representing a different time period or some other dimension. These three data structures, as Pandas series, Pandas data frame, and Pandas panel data, gives you a flexible way to represent and work with all kinds of structured data. Time to check your understanding. Did you know which of the following is not a data structure provided by Pandas library? What is your answer? Correct answer is option D, array. Array is a data structure available in NumPy library. All other data structures from option A to C are part of Pandas library. Pandas was developed by Wes McKinney in year 2008 when he felt the need for efficient tools to handle large data sets. Since then, Pandas has grown rapidly in popularity and is now one of the most commonly used Python libraries for data analysis. Let's summarize what we have learned so far. Pandas is a powerful, versatile open source Python library for data analysis and manipulation. It provides high performance, easy to use data structures and analysis tools. You should use Pandas because it can work with large data, has flexible data structures and work well with other Python library. Pandas library can be used for exploratory data analysis, read and write external files, data manipulation, data visualization and machine learning. Pandas basic data structures are one dimension series, two dimension data frame and three dimension panel data. And in last, Pandas library was developed by McKinney in 2008 as data manipulation tool. You have completed this tutorial and now is the time to upskill your learning. Check the joining link in description box. To get answer to your question or doubt, write to us in comment section. Let's like and subscribe for more quick insights. Thanks for watching. Adhik jankari ke liye like kare, subscribe kare. Dekhne ke liye dhanyawad.